Hi, how's it going everyone? Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe if you find today's video helpful. In today's video, I'll be going over setting up a GitLab runner on a macOS machine. And in the next couple of videos, I'll go over setting up a runner on a Linux instance on AWS. I've got a GitLab repo here for my Hello World app. The project has three files, a Python file that prints out Hello World, the GitLab CI file that defines the pipeline steps for the project, and the Docker file to containerize the app. At the moment, the app will use one of these shared runners when I run my pipeline. But in some cases, you may want to deploy your own runners instead. So if I go ahead and push a commit, the pipeline will run on one of these shared runners. This is the hello.py file with a single print statement. The GitLab CI file simply builds the container and pushes it to the GitLab container registry. I'll just add a new line to my python hello.py file and push the update. That will trigger my pipeline to run, as you can see. And once the build is done, the container will appear under container registry. I'll go ahead and stop the build and also disable the shared runners for this project. Now, if I push another commit, my pipeline won't run. It will just remain in this pending state because we've disabled the shared runners and we haven't specified any other runners that should be used. To set up the runner on your Mac, First install Docker, which will be used to build the container image and push that to the container registry. I've already got Docker set up on my machine. If you don't, you can follow these steps outlined here to get set up. Once you've got Docker installed, head to the GitLab CI CD settings and click on the new project runner button under the runner section. Select the macOS operating system, add the tags for your runner. These tags will be added to our CICD script later in this video. The next step is to install the GitLab runner CLI on your local machine. To do that, simply run the first two commands here on the right. We'll run these last two commands once our runner has been registered. So let's go ahead and run the registration command. For the project executor, we'll select Docker. Our default Docker image will be what we defined in our project's Docker file. Now our runner has been registered. Next, let's run the last two commands from the install steps to start our runner. The install command fails because we didn't specify the user that will be running our GitLab runner service. I'm logged in as Joey, so I'll pass Joey as the user.
Once the runner has started, you'll see this success message here. The runner should also appear in the runner section. The pipeline is still stuck in pending though. Uh, the reason for that is that we haven't specified in our CI CD script uh, which runner to use. And to fix that, we simply need to specify the tag or tags of the runner that we set up. So we simply need to add the tags to the build step of the pipeline. Now the pipeline runs, but we'll still encounter an error too.